Good morning, you guys. So I just finished all my morning chores, taking out the trash, mopping the house, and mopping one, washing the walls in one room. Um, but I'm waiting for Ethan to come right now to bring me a towel to set down in the laundry room because I had to take out some trash. But look, look at this. What a winter wonderland. Huh, Optimus. He went with me. He's not doing so good. I think I'm gonna go to PetSmart or one of these pet stores and see if they have some booties for him because it'll probably be sloshy like this for two to three days. So yeah, but it's supposed to be snowing all day today. So yeah, right now my plan is to just go inside, finish getting dressed, get the boys breakfast. And then we gotta go to Walmart because since he needs to be inside all day long and he's probably not gonna wanna poop outside, I need to make sure that he has pee pads for the floor because he just ran out. So that way if he needs to pee, he can come back in his room, which is the part of the laundry room that's not occupied and use the bathroom. So yeah, that's my plan right now. Need to shut down to keep you out of my mind. It's strange to be here alone. Yeah. A place that we used to go all the time. I need to do this alone. So just stop calling me up. Just realize that we're done. Don't come back. And I need to do this alone. So Alright you guys, we just got back from Walmart, spent 52 bucks made me the snowball. Yes, snowball. in the <laughs> <laughs> Get the stuff out the car. Now of course I'll show you guys what I had to go get when we get inside, but I'm not to carry that box. So. Let's kids be kids for right now while I carry everything inside. <laughs> go get them! Y'all tell them to come here. He's cold. You're gonna go up, down. Go, go. I think he wants to stay inside, guys. Don't take our snowball. All right, so this is what I got from Walmart. Family Caesar salad for pasta tonight. Optimus needed more of these pads because he does not go in a kennel at night. We just put him in the laundry room. And as you can see, that's why all my baseboards are chewed up. But then I started mopping them when I would mop every week. And I guess it made them bitter, so he don't like to bite them anymore. So that's always a plus. And then I got squash and zucchini because I've been craving it. All they had was organic zucchini. So that's what I got. Um, strawberries. We needed more grapes. Their limes are on sale for 25 cents each. Onions. Protein bars for Brian. And more vitamins for the kids. Because I don't know if you guys noticed this, this morning. But they only had two left, so two left of theirs. And so I was comparing like the cheapest brands. And this um, Major's Bounty had the best like nutritional facts compared to the other Walmart brands and cheaper ones. So I went with that one and you get 200, I believe. Yeah, you get 200 gummies and the serving size is only two gummies um, for four years and older. So that's gonna last us a while, hopefully. I don't know, let me see how many gummies were in this one. So this one had 190 gummies and lasted us a while. So yeah, that's everything I got from Walmart. So now I'm gonna put it all up and get Optimus pads put down. And that's it. Huh, Optimus? Huh, you good boy? Sit. Sit. Uh, uh, uh. Sit. Here we go. Strawberries. Yum. All right, you guys. So how this is going to happen is I'm going to fold this clothes. And then I'm going to show you guys what I like to do for my me time. And then after that, we're going to edit. But right now, I'm going to get these towels folded because I always forget to do this. So I always forget to fold my towels 
on towel days and then I'm in the shower just standing there booty butt naked wet and I'm like I don't have a towel. Optimus! you guys so one of my favorite things to do when i lay the boys down for a nap and when optimus is not all in my face okay so i really love to go ahead and do my nails it's just my way of like taking care of me giving myself some self-care time while i watch youtube and you know like just do the things that i enjoy and so first of all if you guys have been following me for a while you know that i have always worked with madam glam so i would also like to thank them for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog you guys go to if you do not have a gel manicure set at home so if you already can grow long luscious beautiful nails i highly recommend just sticking to a gel manicure rather than ruining it with dip because we also know with dip they have to file your nails down with the machine pretty hard and also you know like with the acrylics and the fa the fake nails and all of that kind of stuff you don't need to ruin your nails with that so that is one reason why i love madam glam they have the vip program where you always get discounts think of it kind of like any other subscription only this subscription gives you discounts off of their nail polishes and you can also get a starter kit that comes with nail polishes of gel polishes of your choice with the led light and they also the led lights also come with multiple different plugs depending on what country you're in because we all know that some countries have different outlets that was one thing that i really did love about their um product and what it came with i just got my next order from madam glam these are the colors that i got i absolutely love this one so we have this really pretty gray blue color and it's a deep color called um upper east side so if you're a gossip girl fan they have a whole gossip girl collection and then i got the shade pillow talk and it literally reminds me of the same charlotte tilbury shade so if you want to match your lipstick and blush and all of that charlotte tilbury stuff pillow talk with your nails you can do that with madam glam now i'm not saying that's where they got the name from or anything like that i'm just saying the name and the color remind me of that and then I got this color down to earth. We all need a good army green. We just do, it's it's a part of life at this point is to have an army green. And I've really been wanting to paint my nails black. So this time I ordered perfect black and they also have like perfect white, perfect pink, all kinds of colors. And then, they, and then this time I chose the shade Amor Azul. And so really pretty baby blue. This is one of my favorite kind of colors to have on my nails. And they have like so many different collections. Like I just said, they have a Gossip Girl collection and also a Friends collection. My goal is to have the complete Gossip Girl co collection and the complete Friends collection because why not? Um, and so, yeah, I actually have a ton of these, you guys. Like I'm not just saying it. Like my entire... My entire gel polish collection is Madam Glam. So can't go wrong with Madam Glam. I also have a discount code for you guys that I will put on the screen right here for you. And you get 30% off when you place your order. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you again, Madam Glam, for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and just get into doing our nails. <laughs>
Hello everyone, welcome, or good evening. So I finished my nails, it only took me about an hour. Again, I wanna say thanks to Madam Glam for providing these nail polishes, for gel polishes for me, and also for being a sponsor of today's video. They have some of the best gel polishes I have ever tried, like literally ever tried. They last forever, longer than whenever I go pay $80 to get my nails done. Like I could literally leave the gel polish on my toes for like a month. My nails literally usually at, last for two to three weeks. And that's with me doing all the cleaning that I do. And y'all know I clean a lot. So yeah, they also are 21 free, which means they don't have 21 of the most toxic ingredients that are commonly found in nail polishes, which is super good, especially for those of you who have smaller children who have a tendency of biting their nails. You don't have to really worry too much about what they're biting. And also they are cruelty free. I know some and vegan, cruelty fee free and vegan. So yeah, but right now we are just going to go ahead and get into dinner. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube and just start dinner we're having pasta and salad and i'm just trying something a little bit different i've never tried it before but i bought these frozen bags of spinach and so i'm gonna drain this spinach and cook it with the meat and i just thought that would be really good and also a really i thought it would taste really good as an adult but also i feel like it's a really good way to get my kids to eat cooked spinach instead of just always like a spinach salad or something like that so they can get a ton of vitamins from the spinach and i was like what better way to cook it than to add it to spaghetti when they where they can't see it so yeah so we're just gonna make pasta and so we have super lean ground beef i believe that ground beef is let me see how lean it is hold on that ground beef is 93.7 Should I use one of these or two of these? We are going to use a pound, or a pound, half a pound actually, of chickpea pasta. It has a ton of fiber. I think y'all know about that here on YouTube. I feel like I don't know, I can't remember what I share on YouTube and what I don't because it's been so long. Y'all know about my diverticulosis, right? I feel like I've shared that. But anyways, I try to eat foods that are more high in fiber hence why i'm trying to add like more like greens and vegetables i try to cook a vegetable with every meal of high fiber vegetables so like well a lot of vegetables are high in fiber they're also really good carbs so yeah but chickpea pasta which is high in fiber with spinach ground beef oh what pasta sauce am i using Whew. that could have been bad with great value organic parmesan Romano pasto sauce. So let's get started. <laughs> you guys dinner is ready we got the sourdough bread um hopefully i can condense the recipe down to one minute to post it as a shorts mine always splits i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong but it always splits so i don't know so the ins the outside is hard but the inside is going to be nice and soft and moist and then that's how the pasta came out looking it looks super good and salad so we are about to eat dinner. I think I usually always forget to show y'all what, to show y'all how what I cooked came out. That's how that sentence goes. Okay, so yeah, I'm about to cut into this bread because I got to finish the recipe for um, TikTok. Yeah, there you go, TikTok. There we go. Oh my gosh, words today are hard. 
All right, good morning, you guys. So after dinner, I just cleaned up and then I lay down for bed at about 1140 because after dinner, I had to edit a um, TikTok with my sourdough recipe. And I don't think I was able to keep it under a minute. So if you want to see that recipe, you need to go check out my TikTok. I might upload it to Instagram too. But right now it is definitely time for me to get dressed. It is 1030. <sighs> Your girl is already over today. I was gonna try to do some deliveries, but I really wanna edit. So I'm about to get dressed. Um, did all the chores today so you can see the vacuum lines. Ooh. Um, yeah, so my chore for the day was vacuuming. And then we got the dishes done. So I had dishwasher, dishwasher dishes on there drying this morning. And then the dishwasher was full this morning of dishes. So we got that empty, loaded up breakfast. Got chicken out for dinner. I'm thinking of like doing like some kind of chicken potatoes and green beans i don't know we'll see I, we, we're just low on groceries so we'll see and then i got optimus bed in the washer it has 51 minutes left there's optimus i'm about to take him outside because he hasn't been out since about nine o'clock this morning 8 30 and so it's probably time for him to go out again he actually slept the whole night in there without going to the bathroom so i'm a super proud dog mom but right now I'm about to take him to the front yard to use the bathroom before I could get ready because I don't want him to pee while I'm getting ready and I don't want to have to keep stopping like yesterday. So we're about to go outside. Look at him, he's already ready. He's looking for my shoes that I wear outside. You ready to go outside? Yeah, come on. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. Once I'm done and getting ready, I will get back with you guys, see where we're at, see what the time is, see what things are looking like, see what I decide. All right, you guys, so I'm officially ready for the day. I just finished my, I just finished my read and write the word. And now we are just sitting here. I was going to go ahead and do deliveries, but then I checked the earnings forecast for um, Uber Eats. And it was only going to be busy throughout the hour of 11 o'clock. And it was already like 1130 when I would have been able to start. So I was just like, no, like it's whatever. Like it's not that serious. So I'm going to just stay home and edit for YouTube today. No. He is so dramatic. Every time I tell him no, he just throws himself out like that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to put his bed and stuff in the dryer. I'm about to put Optimus bed in the dryer. So that way, uh, and then I'm going to start editing. So yeah, that's the plan. And then probably around lunch, once the boys decide to tell me that they're hungry for lunch, I'll get up and warm them up some leftovers from last night, give them the salad and whatnot. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Let things happen naturally Like it used to be touches of this vlog being done and of course it wanted to it wants to keep doing the freaking pinwheel oh my gosh oh finally it's like i just gotta add like the little screen that's that's getting annoying so i just gotta add like the little screen that says like subscribe and like do my little like half like i always like halfway through the vlog i always pop up like another little subscribe thing like to remind people if they like my vlog to subscribe but yeah, it, it, every time when I'm right at the end, it does this. And I'm like, I literally have like three more steps. Please stop. <laughs> it's so annoying. 
Optimus keeps sniffing and it's bothering me. Lay down. Yeah, it makes me nervous when he starts to sniff because it's just like, you just don't know. You just don't know what your dog. All right, I'm about to finish editing. <laughs> All right, you guys, it, my phone turned on my flash because I closed our curtains in here. They're the room darkening curtains. I don't know. I was just um, laying the boys down for a nap and I always close their curtains. And I was like, man, this feels so cozy. So I chose to close the curtains in the office while I work. I don't know. And it is cozy. But as you can hear, it's quiet. So this is my me time is whenever the boys lay down and take a nap. And I just do whatever I want, whether it be edit film work out stretch anything like it's just my me time yesterday i did my nails as you guys saw so yeah it's just just kind of depends on what i feel like doing that day so just wanted to update you guys i'm still working i did get me some lunch i made me two chicken and cheese taquitos and two steak and cheese taquitos with like half the plate was covered in hot cheetos not piled up it was just like a little bit of hot cheetos and I'm still working on my water. I've been slacking these this week. I've been really slacking on my water. So we're getting back on it. But yeah, I don't know. Whenever I uh, close the boys' curtains, I was like, ooh, that feels like it's going to feel lovely to edit like that. So I close them in here. And also, it's super bright outside because of the snow. Like, the light reflecting off the snow is just so bright outside. So... Yeah, it's super cozy in my house right now. I love it. When the boys wake up, we're gonna watch some movies and eat some snacks. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Good morning, guys. Uh, I've been up since seven. Did my, I don't have a big chore on Thursdays. Today is Thursday, I don't have big chores. So um, just kind of did some tidying up, put up the dishes, fed Optimus, took him out. Then he pooped in my room. He pooped in my room, so I got ticked off. So now he's in his room which we don't know is the laundry room. I block it off and he has a whole little section to himself. Poop on them poop and pee pads. Not in my room. And he only pooped in my room because he was mad at me. Yep. He was mad at me because I wouldn't let him in the bathroom while I pooped. So we need to go grocery shopping today. I was gonna sit down and edit first. Uh, I think we'll go grocery shopping first because it's still early. And if there's one thing that I hate, it's grocery shopping while everyone, while it's busy. So. Yeah, that's what our plan is today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, All right, you guys, so I have been here at my desk for like an hour trying to import footage for last week. So for the 16th through the 21st, I'm trying to get footage put into the computer for th that time period. For whatever reason, I have the footage on my phone. But whenever I connect it and try to put it into my editing app, I use Filmora, it's not giving it like, that footage doesn't show up on there. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what happened with my Tuesday footage from from that one vlog. I, if you've seen it, it's, it was my last vlog, mom vlog, mom vlog episode 11. I'm wondering if that's what happened to that footage because I never really, I did, I only paid attention to it today because it wasn't giving me the option for the 16th, the 17th, the 19th, the 20th, or the 21st. It only gave me the option to, in, to upload um footage from the 18th so i was like what the heck did i delete all this footage out my phone so i went back and looked on my phone and no it like it's all there so i was like okay let me find these other ways and so like i'm trying to import it different ways and so i'm trying to like import it directly from the app so i'm trying to import it directly from the app like in my filmora app and like it's taking forever and so i was like you know what now i'm just like you know what let me just go into the photos app on the computer and see if maybe i could just drag it over to filmora because like you can do that on um i think any computer even windows like select files and drag it into another app so that's what i'm about to try to do right now but i'm so frustrated like <laughs> so annoying because now i know that's why tuesday wasn't there the tuesday footage was in my phone but it didn't pop up on my stupid editing app to import <sighs> good thing i caught it this time though and i don't think i would have caught it if it did it how it did it last time but let's see what we can do so let me see which one came first let me add it this way oh my gosh i'll, I'll see you guys later i'm gonna see if i can figure this out <laughs> All right, you guys, so I completely gave up on editing because it just was not working. Still can't figure out how to get all the clips on there. And then sat for a little bit with me and Madre. And now 
I'm about to put, we went to Sam's Club, so now I'm about to put this up. I didn't vlog in Sam's. I was really trying to stay on focus, stay, stay focused and stay on budget. So I'm gonna get all of this put up. And I say this every time I grocery shop, but hopefully the next grocery trip will be smaller. I guess I just don't know how to small grocery shop. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this done and put up. All right, you guys, so after I finished putting up all the Costco stuff, um, I made Brian some nachos, my mom and the boys and I are heading over to my aunt's house. We're gonna hang out with my sister and her boyfriend, play some games, eat some pizza and some wings. And Brian's just had like a really stressful, really stressful week at work. So I was like, well, this will be a good time to kind of get out of the house and not have to spend money other than gas, but our, my car's actually really good on gas but i thought it'd be a really good way to you know like i said get out of the house give him some alone time let him do whatever he has to do to unwind and yeah i just he told me not to make him nachos but i thought he'd really appreciate it that's one of his favorite foods i made him like a little guacamole on the side and he knows like where the cheese and stuff is at the house but um yeah i just thought i'd do that for him he's had a really long hard week so i just thought i'd bless him and do that I need to call him and tell him like if he wants the lettuce and stuff like it's in the drawer and whatnot. But yeah, I'll see you guys once we get to my dad's slash aunt's house. <laughs> Every time I see Bryson, he's always like. Still over here enjoying some Uno. Let's go blue. Okay, girl. You know good and well. I <laughs> give me a blue. Alright, good morning you guys. I am currently actually um, just folding the boys clothes. So, um, I'm just going to watch some YouTube as I fold the boys clothes. Um, today's plan is to edit. I'm trying to hurry up and finish doing everything before 9. Like my chores and stuff before 9 so that way I can go sit down and edit. And by chores I mean like putting up the dishes, folding this clothes, and then getting myself ready about 9, 9.15 because I wanna be able to edit before we gotta go to work. And plus my boys are still sleeping, which thank you, Lord. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I am all done so now I'm gonna start the diffusers and then get ready for the day I believe yeah start the diffusers and get ready for the day all right you guys I am officially done getting ready so now I'm gonna do my read and write the word while the boys get dressed oh, I need to let Optimus out first too because I took the puppy pad the pee pads out of the laundry room because he keeps ripping them up so yeah, I need to take him outside before he pees all over the laundry room and it's also time to switch my laundry load so yeah that's fun all right so see you guys in a minute let's take him outside so yeah the snow still don't want to melt first of all why are there footprints all the way over there that might be the boys i hope that's the boys all right he went potty it only took a couple minutes today thank goodness and so now it's time for me to do my reading night the word so for today's reading, write the word, Romans 6, 12 through 14. So let's read that. Yesterday we did um, 6, 5 through 11, which was talking about um, being crucified with Christ and resurrected with Christ. So basically dying to our flesh and raising again a new man. And so 6, 12 through 14 right here. And it says, therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in its lust 
And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the from the dead, and your members as instru- as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. And so. I would say what I get from this one, because I do try to actually ask myself, like, okay, Allie, like, what are you getting from the scripture every time I do this? Like, I don't just sit down and write, read it and write it, and, like, that's done. Like, no, like, I truly like to reflect on what I'm reading. What am I getting from this? And so whenever I read this, how I would apply this scripture personally is that When I have sinful thoughts or sinful lust or things that I know are going to lead me to ways of unrighteousness, I am to shut that down with scripture, with prayer, with the Holy Spirit, with the help of the Holy Spirit. I can't just allow that to dwell and fester inside of me because once it's fully grown and there is another another scripture, I can't think of where it is in the scriptures, but it says once sin is fully grown, like there kind of almost is no coming back from that. So to, it's best to just kick temptation in the butt, like right away, not to let it be like, well, like not to toy with the thought of giving into that sin or lust. Like it's not a good idea to do that. It's best to immediately combat it with the word of God and prayer and fasting. And so that's what I take from this scripture, but I'm going to go ahead and r- write this down now that I've read it. And I hope that you guys just kind of enjoyed me sharing this little piece with you. Uh, Maybe I'll start doing that more often or every day in my vlogs and just say like every day like what I got from it. The only days you probably will not see are Sundays. Again, I'm not vlogging or working on any social media on Sundays. So that includes TikTok. That's just my day that I get to myself that isn't plastered on the internet. And um, just time for me to be with my family or work or whatever and not... Yeah, just to relax, I guess I could say. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and write this, like I said, and then I will see you guys in a bit. The boys are still getting dressed, so I only have a few minutes to write this before I got to get up and get them breakfast. And then, and then I could sit down and edit for maybe an hour. All right, you guys, it is currently 1013. I made me a little breakfast. This is day one of me forcing myself to eat. I already want to throw up, (laughs) but we're going to keep trying yesterday I only ate once and it was at dinner time and even the entire time that I was eating then I wanted to throw up so here we are (laughs) trying to get ourselves to start eating regularly again (laughs) all right you guys so I was able to get like um an hour worth of editing done and now I'm doing Uber Eats it's 12 I was gonna start Uber Eats at 11 but I changed it you guys see the dilemma that's going on with this mascara right now? Goodness. But yeah, I'm currently shopping for an Uber Eats order. But yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. I would say I got about 75 to 80% done with my vlog that I was editing. So that's good. So when I get when I stop at about three or four, back to editing it is. Alright, you guys. So I just finished um folding our laundry mine and brian's laundry we stopped doing deliveries at two oh i washed my robe and i was like you know what i'm always cold i'm putting it on <laughs> but it's only um 2 30 i stopped doing deliveries right at two because they just completely stopped so i think i am gonna go back to starting to do deliveries at 11 and give myself those three hours instead of just two hours because i made 21 dollars, which isn't bad it's ten dollars an hour that's more than minimum wage where i the state that i live in So I'm not mad about it and I'm just trying to look at the bright side like I could have made nothing and that could have been just an entire waste of gas and time but I made $21 and so that's okay I'm gonna try to go back out tonight but I'm not sure because I know one of my my oldest friend Brie is supposed to come over today with her girls because my boys have been asking to see her kids and we just rarely see each other ever since she moved to the other side of town but yeah so we yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm about to help Bryson with his tablet because he's having a meltdown and it's going to grind my gears and cause me to blow up. But we did stop and the boys got or got Burger King. The boys got double cheeseburger kid smells and then all I got. So you see, they, they ate. The only one still eating is King. And then I just got some chicken fries because that's the only thing that tastes delicious and does not hurt my stomach from there 
All right, so that's what's gonna happen. Oh, and I'm gonna have to get right back to editing to see if I can finish this video by today. Hopefully I can. All right, you guys, it is 4.31. I have to be quiet even though I'm super excited because the boys are napping and it's almost time for them to wake up. But I don't want them to wake up just yet. But I did it, I did it, I finished the vlog. It's wow, that face I'm making. And it is 4.31. I don't remember when I told you guys I was sitting down and starting to edit. I think it was like, 240 maybe so it took me two hours but i did it and and not only did i get it finished i got all of the freaking footage but yeah, i need to take optimus out yeah now because now i'm realizing it's been two hours since he's been outside and i don't want him to be in the house so let me hurry hey guys so it is 10 o'clock i believe yeah 10 03 so i'm about to do my stretch video as always um and that i'll be done right around like 10 25 10 30 take my shower get out of the shower at about 10 45 get in bed by 10 50 11 o'clock like that's just my nighttime routine i'm trying to get it to where i go to bed a little bit earlier but right now my body's just trained to do your cleaning routine at nine do your stretching at 10 shower at 10 30 and then get in bed right after that so that's kind of what I'm trying to do, but my video, I'm so proud of myself. I did get today's video up there this week's vlog, which was from last week, the 16th through the 21st, I believe I vlogged. 16th through the 21st. Went ahead and got that vlog up, and so that means that now that today is Friday, I really do not believe I'm going to vlog tomorrow, so I'm actually going to do a proper... I will vlog for TikTok, so like I said again... I daily vlog for TikTok Monday through Saturday. So if there's anything like maybe in my vlogs I'm missing a day. Because I know for instance for the 16th through the 21st. I did kind of like I just updated you guys on Thursday. And then like I completely didn't vlog Friday or all day Saturday. And just vlogged a little bit of Saturday night. So if you guys really ever want to see like those gaps that are missing in my youtube vlogs like check out tiktok and then i'm telling tiktok the same thing like if you want to see the fuller like the more lengthy vlog like really go step by step throughout my day then they need to follow me on youtube so it's like give and take there's different footage on both things like they both kind of sum up the same thing but i chat a lot more obviously here on youtube but i think it'd be a good idea for you guys to follow me on tiktok also because like i said there's days where it's easier for me to just pick up the camera and like film little two to five second clips and compile them together and then just do a voiceover on days that are hard for me to just do life so yeah but i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more i will be ending this vlog and i will see you guys on monday i really need this weekend off from being on my phone so that's another big reason because i don't even think i'm gonna vlog for um saturday on tiktok i really don't so we'll see what i upload on monday for TikTok, maybe nothing. I might take off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. And like I said, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.